Right, if you want to play the best golf that you can, achieving a really good delivery position is absolutely crucial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how just two simple moves from the top of your golf swing can help you get there. So if you really want to play your best golf, achieving a correct and a good delivery position is so important. And there's two moves I'm going to share with you in this video which can help you get there. One of them, super important, and there's so many golfers out there who get that wrong, but we're going to fix that for you in this video. Just before we get started, subscribe button down below and all the details down there. Give that a click. I'd love you to be part of the community. I really believe these videos can help you play some better golf. And finally, Ultimate Ball Striking is a training course on my website. I'd love you to check it out if you think that that is going to help you with your game. I'm pretty sure it will. So what is delivery position? Well, for the purpose of this video, it's when the golf club reaches level with the ground. This is the delivery position that we talk about. Impact, crucial. But we kind of have to get this right for impact to be correct. If the delivery position is wrong, as you can imagine, from here to the ball, we've got no time. The club's traveling at a pretty high speed. We can't really fix anything. If I do something wrong in my takeaway, I've got a little bit of time that I can rectify it, make some compensations. If the delivery position is wrong, we are struggling. So what are we actually looking for? Well, we're really looking for the club shaft to be around about matched up with my target line that you can see that there. If we get that club head way out here or way back here, we're probably going to have some club path issues. Or if we start to get the club, let's say, too high, we're going to struggle. Or if the arms are too far behind us, again, we're really going to struggle. So let's quickly go through the little exercise and then we'll explain how to do it and why it's so important. If you take an address to a golf ball, I want you to visualize that you are standing in a clock face. So right in front of me where that camera is there will be 12 o'clock. Three o'clock would be this camera here. Six o'clock would be behind me. Nine o'clock would be down there. So I want you to take an address and just think about where four to five o'clock would be on that clock face. Just going to take a golf ball and reference that so we can see. So three o'clock will be here, four, round about five. So once I make my backswing, what I really want you to try and think about doing is actually pushing the hands and the club down towards that ball that's on the ground or that four or five o'clock reference point that you've got in your mind. So as we go to the top, arms get pushed down in this way. Now, you might be watching this and you might be thinking, Chris, that does not look like the correct delivery position, okay? What are the arms doing? Well, effectively, the arms are moving downwards. That's what I'm trying to get them to do. I'm trying to get them to move down and behind me. So, this is a downward movement of the club and the arms, okay? I've said this in numerous videos, numerous videos. A rotation of the body, so turning towards the target creates an outward move. So if I just remove the golf club for a moment and I put my arm in any position, it doesn't really matter where it is. If I start to rotate, you'll notice that that is an outward movement to the arm. There's no downward in this. So where does our perfect delivery position come from? Well, it comes from the arms moving downwards. That doesn't look correct. But as soon as I start to have some rotation, suddenly we find ourselves in this absolutely perfect delivery position where the club shaft is matched up to the one that's on the ground and my hands are in a fantastic position where my trail arm is a little bit less flexed than it was at the top. From here, I'm absolutely able to deliver the club on a pretty neutral path. I'm able to produce the attack angle that I want, so many things that we're looking for at impact. So there's two pretty simple movements there that allowed me to get into that delivery position. Number one was trying to move the arms downward to five o'clock. As I then rotate, that puts me in this delivery position. From here, I'm able to go ahead and hit golf shots. And if the camera picked that one up, you can see it was a pretty neutral ball flight. So why is this so important? And why are we doing it in these phases? Well, there's lots of traits that we see, lots of common faults that we see. And probably one of the most common is that, that over the top move that we see so many golfers achieving. When they arrive at delivery position, they've often got the trail arm too flexed. 
they've often got the club head too high and too far out towards the ball and so they start to hit down across and have this chopping motion and a part of the reason for that is that what they will do is when they get to the top the lead arm will stay pinned to the chest for too long they then start to unwind and you can see that we don't have enough downwards in that golf club we have plenty of outwards too much outwards means that the downwards is going to happen far too late when it happens far too late we get those horrible impacts that many of you will be familiar with so this is a, a prime example of what you're intending to do and what actually happens might not marry up what do i mean by that well we spoke about how from the top i'm going to move my hands and the club down towards this golf ball down towards this five o'clock position on that clock face now you'll notice that i can do that but I can do that because there's no rotation. As soon as I start to move my arms down to five o'clock and rotate, suddenly they end up in this really good delivery position. So the idea of moving my hands down to five o'clock is the thought, it's the idea, it's the concept. It doesn't happen because as my arms are trying to go down, my rotation is moving them out. A great downswing is very simply having the right blend of downward and outward. If we have too much outward and then the downward, that's no good. If we have too much downward and then the outward, again, that's no good. It's trying to find that perfect blend, but for many golfers, we have to think about it in the way that we've discussed. So how do you get to your perfect delivery position? You make a backswing, you move your arms down to five o'clock, you add some rotation, and suddenly you hit that perfect position and then you can hit your golf shots from there. The way I've just hit those two shots would be how I'd get you to start. Up to the top, work it down, add your rotation, swing through. The next phase, well, the next phase is to make sure you've got a golf ball ready. The phase after that will be to try and blend that. So what I'm gonna try and do now is add the downward and the rotation at the same time. So I feel I'm working down to five, but my rotation happens at the same time and we start to find this delivery position and we can hit the golf shots from there. So how do you achieve a really perfect delivery position where you've got good body rotation, good arm structure, good arm position, good club position? You work your arms down to five o'clock as you're rotating and that's gonna get you into that super delivery position that everybody wants. Right, hope that makes a lot of sense. The key thing there is the arms moving down, get that right, and lots of good things will happen. Lots of slicers don't have that element in their goal swing, and it's the one that they're missing. So usual stuff is down below. Really hope that's helpful. Really hope that's something practical that you can take to the golf course to help your game next time you play. would love to see you back here again for a future video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.